Alright everybody, welcome back to another episode here in our WWE2K19 Universe Mode. I'm of course Dominic the Bad Wrestling Channel and episode 125 of our ongoing series with the first ever Women's Royal Rumble match. This will be a 20 woman over the top rope affair. I think you know the rules of the Royal Rumble by now, however if you don't, of course you gotta throw your opponent over the top rope. One new competitor comes in every few seconds, every minute and a half or so, and it's a lot of fun. Okay, personally, my favorite style of match, and I'm ecstatic to see who's gonna be winning this 20 woman over the top rope Royal Rumble match. And it seems as though we're gonna be kicking it off with number one, the Pirate Princess from Monday Night Raw, Kyrie Sane. Which is uh, she's gonna be interesting. Okay, she's had it. She's had a. I don't know. She she feels like she's almost reached some sort of ceiling. I don't know if it's a glass. I don't know if it's a concrete ceiling, but it feels like it's made out of, of a, out of some sort of material. I feel like there, if there was a women's mid card division, she would be a very prominent feature in that division. But perhaps winning this rumble could mean big things for her down the line. Perhaps she could even defeat Nia Jax for the Raw Women's title as apparently, or Shayna Baszler if she decides to choose the SmackDown title as apparently Kyrie Sane is going to be going one-on-one -on -one against Io Shirai. Okay, one of NXT, well, NXT's newest uh, superstar, Io Shirai. She hasn't, she hasn't even been on television yet or on NXT uh, TV and it seems as though I guess the higher-ups here on WWE, I don't know if it was King Booker or Shawn Michaels or somebody. Maybe even Chris Jericho from NXT, that general manager. He might have been, you know what? I want to prominently feature this young woman who has an amazing talent, the genius of the sky, Io Shirai. Okay, I'm, I'll, I'll take it. Io Shirai versus Kyrie saying, let's go. Okay, I'll take it. Boom! Big elbow there by Kyrie saying, okay, two um, hard-hitting yet tactical... Uh, d uh d Japanese competitors here starting off the Royal Rumble as it seems that we're already going to be getting our next uh, a d a superstar in this match is a big clothesline there's number three former Smackdown Women's Champion Bailey making her way to there's another Jesus Christ Kyrie Sane with the elbows okay her finisher is the insane elbow but I didn't think she was going to be hitting these Standing elbows, okay, that could probably knock someone's jaw loose. As Io Shirai pushes off Kyrie Sane here, Bailey watches on an elbow there, or perhaps a forearm even. Like, oh, by Io Shirai with a big snap suplex there. Bailey, former SmackDown Women's Champion, wasn't even meant to be in our series. Perhaps she could be going on to WrestleMania and fighting for the one of the Smack one of the women's titles as number four. Ember Moon making her way to the ring. It looks like Bailey perhaps about to take make the first elimination. It seems like Kyrie Sane about to join her and helping her here. And Io Shirai, oh, thanks for coming. As now Ember Moon making her way to the ring. We already have one elimination. Number two in the Rumble has just been eliminated here as Bailey kicks her in the stomach. Bailey and Ember Moon, two of my personal favorite women here. Okay, I, I don't like to play favorites here on the commentary table. However. I will point out, Ember Moon and Bailey, they are incredibly interesting competitors. So is Kyrie Sane. Is, what the hell was that? I don't even know what that is. A running neckbreaker style maneuver. However, Bailey, oh, goes for a flip. Is now number five, the living legend herself. It's Lita as Bailey gets eliminated. Lita joins in. Okay, sure, why not? Lita, the living legend in her own right, was in the money, the uh, women's money in the bank match earlier this year, looking down at Ember Moon. Slams are there. Okay, Lita, a definite Hall of Famer, gets kicked in the stomach as Ember Moon on a big running drop kick there. As a oh god, a, a brutal back fist to the back of the head of Ember Moon. As number six Carmella from SmackDown making her way to the ring. Okay, these these entrants and eliminations seem to be going lightning quick. However, Lita is not the next elimination, at least as of the moment, as Carmella big back suplex out of Kairi Sane, number one in the Rumble still in it, as now, oh, what the, oh, God, 
Ember Moon tried to, I think she went to go and jump and missed on Lita, or missed Lita there. I don't know what that was all about. Okay, it looked like she had some sort of plan, missed. However, she's still on the attack. Is now number seven, Mickey James, over from Monday Night Raw. Okay, she's had to help um, people like Alexa Bliss earlier tonight. Okay, a legend in her own right, as well as Mickey James. Oh, goes for a running clothesline, missed. Gets kicked in the stomach as Mickey James now has Kyrie Sane here puts her on the on the ropes. Perhaps looking to eliminate her here. Oh. Okay, well, instead, punches her right in the face. A running punch as now Ember Moon has Lita. It looks like Carmella about to join her and perhaps eliminating the legend here is number eight, Trish Stratus. Someone who's had a lot of history with both Mickey James and Lita. As there you see Trish Stratus in the ring. However, leg drop to Kyrie Sane there, knowing that Kyrie Sane, perhaps the weakest individual in the match thus far. Of course, she has been in the match the longest. As Trish Stratus making a huge return here tonight in the in, in our women's Royal Rumble, already two huge returns. I wonder if there's going to be any more. We're going to have to see. As now Carmella and Ember Moon both staring as Mickey James with a big bulldog there on Trish Stratus. A lot of history there, obviously. As number nine is Sasha Banks, the boss, as she calls herself. Perhaps Trish Stratus looking to eliminate Mickey James in the corner or perhaps Sasha Banks about to get an elimination of her own looking to eliminate Kyrie Sane here number one has been eliminated Sasha Banks the boss knocks her out and it looks like Sasha Banks looking to do the same thing to Mickey James here will she be able to as Lita or oh, perhaps looking to eliminate Trish Stratus like I mentioned a lot of history there before Okay, perhaps looking to eliminate her here. Number 10 is Paige. Okay, number 10. We're halfway through our competitors here on this third part of the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. Okay, we still have the men's Rumble to get to. It looks like Paige here tonight from NXT. Looking to make a statement in our Royal Rumble. However, Ember Moon looking to toss over Sasha Banks. Paige about to join her here as Lita on the top left. Oh, throws her. Oh, my God. The back of her head landing on the way out. Okay, Lita eliminating Trish Stratus. But I think Trish Stratus took a lot of damage there. As Mickey James with the chick kick there. Perhaps a bit of a response to the woman she was uh, thoroughly obsessed with in her debuting feud. Trish Stratus all those years ago. Fighting at WrestleMania 22 as Ember Moon throws Alita across the ring. As Carmella trying to eliminate Paige here, screaming towards the crowd. Ember Moon is. Okay, as Lita on the, or is down. Sasha Banks hits Mickey James with a neck breaker there. Okay, all, all uh, six of these women battling out. Oh, Sasha Banks. Great agility there by the boss looking to eliminate Ember Moon. What a match that would be indeed. Ember Moon versus Sasha Banks. Perhaps a dream match we might see someday. At least in my opinion, a dream match. Sounds pretty freaking awesome. Not going to lie. Oh! Mickey James is just squashing Paige into the mat. As James now. Oh, look at this. Huna Conrana takes out Lita there. As Lita's now been eliminated. Number 11 makes her entrance. Maurice, the half of... Or... or one half of um, a loving relationship, marriage, whatever you want to call it, with The Miz. As Paige and Maurice are battling now. Okay, one is, I don't know, maybe a bit of a spray-on tan. The other is pale as, a, a, like, a legit piece of printer paper. <laughs> okay, sure, why not? Is now Maurice. Oh! Oh! Going for a bit of a hunakan run of her own right, taking out Paige. Quite like how Mickey James just did with Lita as number 12. Another huge return here tonight, Brie Bella. Okay, we saw her briefly down in NXT. Her sister, Nikki, our first ever NXT Women's Champion. Okay, back at the beginning of the year, or around, you know, the beginning slash middle-ish time of the year, as Brie Bella... Looking to make a big statement quite like her sister did down in NXT. However, Marie's about to make even and probably an even bigger win. Oh, Brie Bella just gets eliminated by Carmella. 
out of nowhere. What the hell? Like she was about to eliminate Ember Moon. Carmella, she just decided, you know what? I don't know if this is much. I don't know if it's more of her trying to save Ember Moon or her trying to make sure she gets the elimination on Brie Bella. However, Carmella here, or you see, looking out towards the crowd, eliminating her here. Sasha Banks makes an elimination in her own right. There goes Ember Moon. Carmella goes after Mickey James, or looks like she changed her mind going after Maurice. Okay, we are more than halfway through our entrance here tonight. Who's going to be coming out next? Not too sure later on tonight. Our main event, the, the Men's Royal Rumble. But I can guarantee you both Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler are watching this one as another entrant from NXT, Lacey Evans, making her way to the ring. As Sasha Banks now in the corner looking to be eliminating Mickey James. Oh, Lacey Evans almost immediately taking out Carmella. Maurice laughing at the fact that I think Mickey James might just be about to get eliminated, and she is. Lacey Evans and Carmella fighting now, okay, sure. Why not? I wouldn't necessarily call that a dream match, but why not? Lacey Evans going after Carmella. Both uh, feel almost opposite in their kind of, you know, just who they are as people. As number 14, Raw's most recent female acquisition, Dakota Kai. A favorite of mine, as you probably know, with a big insiguri there on Maurice. Lacey Evans, oh, kicks Sasha Banks in the back of the leg and then a big knee to the jaw. As Sasha Banks gets picked up here by Dakota Kai, Lacey Evans. Here tonight looking at her opponents, perhaps looking to go after anybody she sees. Now make an elimination as Dakota Kai with a big kick to the chest. Of Sasha Banks, and here comes the Queen herself. And quite frankly, she is at number 15. That's kind of, kind of, kind of a high number. Okay, three fourths through the Rumble here. The Queen Charlotte makes her way to the ring. It seems as though Sasha Banks, perhaps about to be eliminated here by Dakota Kai. But oh, but Sasha Banks gets out of it. As now, oh my God, Dakota Kai crushing both Maurice and. And Charlotte there with a big like wheel kick to the back of the head and then just flop and then they both just drop down. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, goddamn, was not expecting that, but whatever. As now Oh, and looks like Carmella has eliminated Lacey Evans. Okay, the most recent challenger for Tony Storm's NXT title is speaking of Speaking of Tony Storm. That was weirdly perfect timing. As Sasha Banks eliminates Maurice. It's Tony Storm here, the NXT Women's Champion. Okay, as far as I know, she's supposed to be injured. She's not. She's so injured, she's not even going to be on the NXT Takeover Brooklyn card. I don't know how she got in this match, but sure, why not? Okay. I don't know what happened here. Okay, however, Sasha Banks with an immediate oh, elimination, and I think that's just what you get for coming into the match as as an injured competitor. I don't know if Tony Storm. Sure. Number 17, Ruby Riot. Again, another NXT competitor. Uh, Tony Storm. <laughs> Tony Storm. Like, she's injured, dude. I don't know why. Well, I don't know what she was expecting, but I don't. Yeah. Sure. We move on. Ruby Riot, number 17. Of course, number 27. The luckiest number in a Rumble. However, maybe in a 20 woman. Royal Rumble, perhaps 17, might just end up being the lucky number as Ruby Riot goes after Charlotte. Sasha Banks in the corner. Okay, and Ruby Riot immediately eliminating the Queen Charlotte. The crowd looks stunned, apparently, as Ruby Riot connects there, eliminating Charlotte here as Sasha Banks goes after Dakota Kai still. And number 18, Ronda Rousey as Dakota Kai gets eliminated. Sasha Banks and Ronda Rousey, of course, have had some history together. Over the past year, and oh, Sasha Banks just pops right back up as Ruby Riot gets a big elimination on Carmella. Okay, number 18, Ronda Rousey. Sasha Banks has been in this probably the longest out of anybody in the match. Banks trying to prove her worth on SmackDown and in WWE in general. As Ronda Rousey already picking up. Her tonight, what does she have in mind? I love looking to throw her down as number 19. I just realized that Ivory making her way to the ring. Another living legend in her own right. 
number 19. Huge return for Ivory. As Rhonda looks to be immediately going after her here. Has something in mind, but oh, gets taken down there by Ivory. Sasha Banks oh, goes to kick her in the back. Ruby Riot and Ronda Rousey now turning their attention towards each other. Same thing with Ivory and Sasha Banks. Banks, like I mentioned, has been in this match the longest. Perhaps about to get eliminated, and she is. And as she gets eliminated, number 20, the final competitor, Asuka. And if there's any way that's going to win this match, in my opinion, it might just be Asuka. Because, of course, number 20. And plus, she's probably the most dangerous woman in that ring, okay? Defeating Nia Jax for the Raw Women's title a few months back. However, ever since then, okay, she lost... The championship as Ruby Riot gets eliminated by Asuka. She lost the championship, losing her undefeated streak. And perhaps that means that Asuka is not 100% confident in her own abilities. Not too sure about that. Okay, ever since then, she's been kind of kind of iffy. Okay, she got pinned by Alexa Bliss, although that was a roll-up. But still, undefeated. Then going from a loss to Nia Jax and then a roll-up. Asuka, I don't know how confident she is. However, she is number 20. She has the best chance in this match. As, oh, as Ronda Rousey goes after Ivory. As Asuka throws her off and looks. Oh! Went to go eliminate Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey ducked underneath. Grabs the ropes. Pulls it down. And Asuka's now eliminated. Now we have the final two competitors. It's Ivory and Ronda Rousey. And I'm not going to lie. Ivory winning this match would be kind of insane. <laughs> sure. Why not? Okay, Ivory now, like, cho almost choking Ronda. They're, s like, stepping on the throat. However, Ronda now still in the fight here. Punches her in the stomach, in the abdomen. Ronda Rousey, a former UFC champion. Very dangerous competitor. However, Ivory, the living legend, she has so much experience. Perhaps that experience could get her a win, but Ronda Rousey does not seem to be caring. Look at Ronda Rousey. You should be taking this more seriously. It's the Royal Rumble, damn it. But okay. Russian leg sweep there. I can guarantee you both Shauna... Uh, Shauna? No, Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax both watching this on the edge of their seats. As am I. Looking to see who will win this match here. As now... Oh! Clothesline! Throws her out of the ring! Ronda Rousey. The winner of... The first ever Women's Royal Rumble here tonight. There you see Clothesline throws her out of the ring. Oh my god, I'm just taking the top rope with her. However, Ronda Rousey probably not with, not, definitely not with Nia Jax, nor Shayna Baszler wanting to see win. Okay, probably one of the most dangerous competitors we have in WWE, not just in the women's division. Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Goes on to to that the, the place you're pointing to to WrestleMania to be fighting either the Raw or SmackDown Women's Champions. But who will she choose? Well, we're gonna have to find out sometime in the future. However, right now that's going to be the end. That's the end of this uh, third part of the Royal Rumble pay per view. If you guys like that, please let me know by hitting the like button down below. Comment anything you want to comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. But if you have, why not hit the bell to be notified of everything we do on the Bad Wrestling channel. I'm, of course, Omnic. And have a good day from Bad Wrestling. Bye-bye. Yo.